Yo, what's up, fam, man? It is your boy James R. Davis Sr. coming to you live once again with another Real Crypto Talk. Today is April the 7th, 2021, and my battery is about to go out, so I got to make this quick. So let's jump right into the markets on today. Uh, the market cap is at $1.896 trillion. Bitcoin is dominance is uh, 55.6%. Let's look at... The biggest winners over the past 24 hours, uh, we got Wazarx, WRX up 27%, One Inch up 22%, Harmony One up 20%, Engine up 11%, Urine Finance up 9%. Let's look and see what's on sale. Bitcoin Gold is down 18%, NIM is down 17%, Helium is down 16%, XRP is down 15%. Crypto.com is down 15%. So let's give you a heads up on something. Coin market cowl, like the calendar, gives you recent up-to-date uh, events that's happening on new coins that you may want to take a look at. So just giving you that plug real quick. Coin market cowl. Let's look at some of the headlines. Bitcoin bulls return after Bitcoin bounces at key uh, support level. Let me go ahead and jump right into the news because I just noticed that, uh, you know, like I mentioned, my battery is about to go down. So we'll skip the headlines and go right into the news. J.P. Morgan's Jamie Dimon. <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. Let me go ahead and read through this. because I want, I want to say something at the end. Uh, J.P. Morgan, many of you have all been following me. You already know I got some yeah, you know how I feel about this guy. You know, he's just insane, should be in jail. But at any rate, JP Morgan's Jamie Dimon, Bitcoin regulations, a serious emerging issue. Dimon said in a shareholder letter that clear cut regulation regarding crypto and fintech shadow banks is needed more than ever before. In brief, JP Morgan, CEO. Jamie Dimon today called for clearer cut regulation. C clearer cut regulation. He said that legal and regulatory status is needed with cryptocurrencies. The banking boss also reiterated the threats of fintech. And, uh, you know, this is why I've been telling you guys, man, you know, many people that follow me on Facebook, you know, you might want to get your money out of these banks. Uh, but hey, I'm not your financial advisor. Do your own research. You know what I mean? This is just for entertainment purposes. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. This is Real Crypto Talk. Uh, the legal and regulatory status of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies somehow is something that needs to be dealt with. And now, according to Bitcoin skeptic and JP Morgan boss, Jamie Dimon, Dimon, who famously called Bitcoin a fraud, <laughs> excuse me, back in 2017, made the comments in a letter to shareholders today. There are serious emerging issues that need to be dealt with and rather quickly. The growth and shadow, the, sh the growth of shadow banking. It's a new term that's floating around out there. Shadow banking, the legal and regulatory status of cryptocurrencies, the proper and improper use of financial data, the tremendous risk that cyber security poses to the system, the proper and ethical use of AI, the effective regulation of payment systems, he wrote. The CEO, one of the world's largest banks, also said that regulators need to decide what they want included in the regulatory system and what they don't want included, stressing how complex regulation in the U.S. currently is. Diamond may have a point, especially when it comes to crypto. Different government agencies appear to have different agendas with sometimes contradictory positions. An example is the Securities and Exchange Commission, which is the SEC, which claims authority over most Ethereum-based tokens previously sold in the U.S., uh, to raise funds for new companies. But the Commodities Futures Trading Commission, the CFTC, oversees all things Bitcoin related. 
like futures and options contracts. Then you have the IRS, FinCEN, and various state and local regulatory agencies that have their own views on the matter. You know, it's just a big mess. You know, it's crazy. So I, it's just interesting that that, that that Jamie is taking this approach, but hey, you know, it's just, it is what it is. Uh, uh, though, uh, though, with more and more traditional financial investors showing interest in crypto, big banks are hoping for clearer rules. Just yesterday, Goldman Sachs CEO David Solomon said that he expects the digital currency world will experience a big evolution in terms of regulation and that current regulations prevent the bank from acting as a principal around crypto. You know what that means, right? Let's read on. Diamond said in the letter that traditional banks are under threat due to shadow and fintech banks and that J.P. Morgan was aggressively adapting to new challenges presented by big tech. The bank called for the battle. I'm sorry. The bank called the battle for digital supremacy between traditional banks and fintechs. The real post COVID-19 story in a research note for investors earlier this year. According to J.P. Morgan, banks need to buckle up their ideas if they want to compete with the rapidly expanding fintech sector. And what he means by fintech sector, you know, do just do your research or they will become the thing of the past. Let me reiterate that last line right there again, because if, if this is not right in line with what I've been saying for many of you that have been following me. He says that bank, this is J.P. Morgan now. Banks need to buckle up their ideas if they want to compete with the rapidly expanding fintech sector or, or they will become a thing of the past. In his letter today, Diamond added that level playing field regulation was needed in order for banks to fight this enormous competitive threat. And the threat he's talking about is real. J.P. Morgan estimates that there are now 58 fintech companies with a market cap of over $1 billion, all competing for customers with quicker and more efficient services. Notoriously anti-crypto, <laughs> you know, maybe the article will speak for me, right? Notoriously anti-crypto. I'm not talking about notorious, you know, it's crazy, right? Diamond once said that his own daughter was formerly smart after buying Bitcoin. Let that marinate for a second. And that its investors were stupid right, for buying Bitcoin, but the billion, and, and, and then here's what's crazy, here's what's crazy, right after he called him stupid, a few days after that, he got caught on a Swiss exchange buying the dip, see, you know, again, some of you guys have seen that video as well, and I mean, you never listen to what they say, guys, and I mean, always watch what they do, in this case, though, he's right, they need to come up with some real clarity, man, it's just, all these different fucking agencies and shit. Old ass men, confused, don't want to let go of the old traditional system. Which, and I mean, he just let them basically know. Look, dude, it's you know our power, our reign, you know our banking cartels and and money laundering and all this shit is about to end, brother, uh, buddy. It's about to end, buddy. Everything's public on the blockchain now. So hey. We got to make some adjustments or you, like he just said, motherfuckers going to be a thing of, a, of the past. Okay. So let me continue to wrap this up. He called his investors stupid. In fact, he said he was going to fire anybody that's in the company called, get caught trading it. I think it's in this particular video right here that he said that. It's crazy. But the billionaire's banking business is warm to the asset, warming to the asset. Last year, JP Morgan said that Bitcoin is solidly competing with gold 
as an alternative asset. By the way, gold is about a 10, 11, 12 trillion dollar market cap. How much is Bitcoin about? What, I, what, I, what, what did we go over this morning? A few minutes ago? 1.8, almost 2 trillion. It's another 8 to 10 trillion that Bitcoin is going to capture and blow past, blow past. When I say blow past, I mean blow past, blow past. Okay. So, um, and that the potential long term upside for Bitcoin is considerable. No, fucker, you were buying the dip. What do you mean considerable? You've been buying the shit. Right, got caught and sued buying this shit. Come on, man, that's the big story for today. Jamie Dimon is 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 uh kind of pushing the issue. I don't blame him, but I just think he's a the big big one of the biggest crooks, big biggest hypocrites on the planet. Real quick, five key reasons why Bitcoin will likely see new all time highs soon. One, whales have stopped selling. Two, long-term term hodlers or holders selling Bitcoin are slowing down. Three, miners have turned into Bitcoin accumulators again. That's huge. Institutional demand remains high. Number four and number five, weekly ascending triangle close to a break. And let me show you that in the chart. See this triangle right here? It is about to break. It's, it's squeezing. So it's going to either break up or it's going to break to the downside. More than likely, based upon the metrics, you know, stuff like this, you go to Glass, uh, Glass Note, is where we get a lot of these analysis from, Glass Note. Um, I mean, on-chain analysis. I mean, you see, you see what's going on. Like they say one thing, but you see what, what exactly what the fuck they're doing. You know, that's crazy. But anyway, that's why, that's why the blockchain is a beast, right? But it's going, it's, it's, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna do something. You know, we don't know. We look at the probabilities. You know, there are a lot of clues, but you know, nobody knows for for certain. Bitcoin has a mind of its own. It does whatever the fuck it wants to do, right? That's just the way it is. So. The last story, football star Tom Brady to launch his own NFT platform. <laughs> Let me read it real quick. Six-time Super Bowl champion Tom Brady is back in a new major development in the non-fungible token industry by launching his own platform, NFT platform, not token, platform. The new NFT platform, dubbed Autograph, will target some of the biggest features in sports, entertainment, fashion, and pop culture and provide a tool for unique digital collectibles, a Brady representative told CNN on Tuesday. The platform is expected to launch this spring. Autograph CEO Dylan uh, said that the platform will bring together some of the world's most iconic names and brands with the best-in-class digital artists in order to create and launch NFT, NFT, NFT pieces to a community of fan and collectors. Autograph will also have interactive offerings like live auctions and physical product drops, as well as in-person experiences. According to CNN, Brandy and entrepreneur Robert uh, will serve as co uh, co-chairs to Autograph, according to the company's website. The board of, of advisors and chairs also includes Lionsgate CEO, uh, John Fithermir, uh, Live Nation CEO Michael Rapino and DraftKings co-founder Jason Robbins and Paul Liberman, as well as Don Ostroff, advertising business officer at Spotify. The NFTs are unique pieces of digital content brought online using blockchain. And I'm going to leave it right there. Folks, listen, 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 listen. NFTs is big. We'll be careful about that. It is definitely a market that is exploding, but you know you see what's up. Lastly, I'm gonna say this: I got about uh, 20 seconds. If you are a newbie, I'm gonna talk about Copy Pro Traders very briefly. Listen, if you want to learn how to trade, I highly recommend you do that. But if you want professionals to trade for you safely on an exchange that you control, 
you might want to consider copy pro traders okay go there use my referral icons global talk to you guys soon